what's up, it's Chainsaw Jada, and today we are going to do another cold start video. And we're actually going inside because I have something that I want to share share with you guys that I didn't know about. So let's go inside and talk about it. But there's this thing called winter mode. And I had no idea. And when I did that cold start with the MS881 here, um, I had no idea that there was such a thing called winter mode. So um, we did some research and we found out what the winter mode was, the purpose of it, and how do we get to it? How do we put it on winter mode? So I'm gonna show you guys that right now, um, at least for the MS881. I don't know on my other saws, um, but yeah, let's jump into it. So this here, you you're gonna have to take the case off in the back. So I had, oh, this is kind of tight. So you want to take this back cover case off and like look at this filter. Isn't that crazy? Like I didn't know that there was a filter that looked like this for chainsaws. I, that's just cool. Okay, well anyway, so the winter mode. So when you take the case off, the winter and summer mode, summer mode too, it's actually on this case, the back of this case. So um, I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's this black um little thing right here this black thing right there and you can look at it sorry i'm kind of all over the place if you look at it i don't know if you can see it or not but there is a little snowflake on the top there and there's also like a little sun on the bottom i don't know if you can see that really good the lighting is not very good in here but anyway so right now it's on the sun so the sun's like right here and i'm gonna take this set you guys down because it's actually kind of hard to do with one hand but here is the cover and you want to take this little thing out pop that out and swap it over on this side, I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing. And there's like little slits there that you kind of push that sucker in. Like that, you push it down. So it's like that. So now you're in winter mode. And I had no idea that this was even a thing until recently, like I said. So the purpose of that is so, um, in the winter time since it's cold and it's kind of hard to start up your saws, it kind of traps the heat inside the saw so it gives it that extra boost. Then like in the summertime, you kind of want all that heat to escape the saw so your saw doesn't like blow up or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought that was Pretty interesting, I didn't know about that. So, yeah, now it's on winter mode. Um, I'm actually going to try to do another cold start um, with it in winter mode. So we'll do that in a bit here. But I kinda wanna see if it has it, if there's a winter mode on my 241. Like I don't, I don't know if every saw has it. Like most of my saws are steel saws. So I don't know if every um, steel chainsaw has it or every saw out there ever, but we're gonna try the same. We're just gonna look. Oh man, this is gonna be difficult, isn't it? Yep, this is gonna be kind of difficult. Sure. I'm pretty sure this is how we're gonna have to take this off, at least for the 241. Kind of looks like I'm gonna have to um, undo these bolts here, this one here, this one here, and there's one up here. And this, that should take this off. You guys are kind of on the ground, so sorry about that. Let's just kind of see. I actually have never taken the case off of this yet, which is probably a good idea to do it anyway, because um, I'm gonna have to clean the air filter out. Guarantee. Okay, so yeah, just pop those off. 
I think this is right. This saw is a little different than my other my other ones that I use. Okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to clean that out. Okay, cool. So let I'm looking for that little snowflake. I wonder what this little thing is. I wonder if this is it. I don't know. Someone tell me. Is this it right here? This thing? Does that look like it is? I don't know. But <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys. Because this needs cleaned out. Oh, I'm just going to show you. This is the reality of it right now. That's pretty bad. Looks a little gunked up. Look at that. All right. I'm going to take the air compressor to this guy, clean him up a little bit. And I actually don't know. I, I don't know if this thing is the winter mode or, or not. I have no idea. I don't really see anything else in here. What it could be. I don't know. I'll have to um, do some re research for the 241 at least. Let's clean that out at least. Probably not the smartest place to clean out a saw with all this sawdust all around me. <laughs> of course, only me. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna put this back on because I actually don't know where um, that is. I don't know if, if this would be something. I have no idea what this is. Glad we did this because this is, like I said, that needed cleaned out as you guys could see. It was not that. Not that clean. Let's just kind of snap in there. I like that. That's not too bad. Cool. And here's just another size comparison of the MS881. This is, again, the 241. And, yeah. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? So I have a new bar on this saw. I swapped out the bars. There's the titanium bar there. And um, this is the Rollymatic. It's a 36 inch. And we're gonna try to start this guy up again. I swapped out the bar because this bar is much more manageable for me to use. It has a better balance. At least for me it does. And I definitely need to start lifting more weights. <laughs> If I'm going to be running this saw more, I do need to do that. But yeah, I just like this saw set up more and we're gonna do another cold start with it, but on the winter mode, oh, I can't talk, it's still cold. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can get it. This bar is much more manageable for me to handle.
here is the rip saw box down here. And I actually am going to do this unboxing with the chainsaw. I'm gonna open it up with my chainsaw. So, safety first. And all right, let's rip it open. Hopefully it's not fragile. <laughs> okay. As you guys saw, this is from Ripsaw. Ooh, this is like really good quality. Look at this. I already got sawdust on it. It's embroidered. Wow, that's nice. How do I look? <laughs> it's a little tight. It needs to be stained a little bit. Nice. Okay, cool. So it looks like a bunch of clothes, but let me just open everything up and kind of show you. If you guys don't know who Ripsaw is, just go look them up. Like they're freaking awesome. And we will be talking more about them throughout the year. So stay tuned with that. But this is nice. Everything looks like it's in, in broyered, embroidered. <laughs> I can't talk. It's another hat. Put this one on. I think this is called a trucker hat. Yeehaw. That's not a trucker. Truckers don't say yeehaw. Maybe they do. Cowboy. Cowboy. This looks like a t shirt. Yep. Oh yeah. We're going to be very stylish this year. I literally wear the same clothes all the time. So it's so nice to have good looking merch like this. I need to get some Chainsaw Jenna merch going. Let me know if you guys think I should do some Chainsaw Jenna merch. Nice. This is the hat that I probably would wear. <laughs> ben, you can have this hat. This would look better on you. I like this hat. Just need to adjust it. And it's got a nice buckle on it too, look at that. That's fancy! And a little slot to put that in there. That's so fancy. I'm so excited. I wanna tell you guys more of what all this is, but this is just, this is just, you know, the beginning. A long sleeve shirt, that's perfect for right now. Everything's like really solid. This is awesome. Cool, look at that. Everything is sewed in. Super nice stitching. That's cool. Cool, okay. So yeah, this is the unboxing video of Ripsaw and there will be more unboxing videos with these guys, so stay tuned and I have an even bigger surprise in the next video. You don't want to miss it. So, go watch it. It's not out yet. <laughs> go watch it when it's out. Trust me, you're gonna want to see this one.